This is going to be the biggest Gran Turismo 7 update for years. We've all been waiting for it. I'm almost certain that Gran Turismo 7 is going to add a new track in the imminent update 1.49 and it's a big track. In this video I'm going to let you know why I rarely come out with big predictions like this but this one I'm pretty sure is nailed on. So here we go. Circuit Gilles Villeneuve is the Montreal GP circuit you might recognize from Formula 1. It's one of my most favorite circuits to drive in other games and it has featured before in a data mine, not something I covered too much. It's also signed a partnership with IMSA next year and we know Gran Turismo has partnerships with various cities around the world. You'll see the Gran Turismo um, logo on the front of uh, endurance racing cars, GT3 racing cars, and Circuit Gilles Villeneuve is gonna become more of that world. And the other thing is, do you know where the World Series is this weekend? Yes, it's in Canada, it's in Montreal. And very unusually, Gran Turismo have taken the step to say they are going to announce the update there. So hang on a second. <laughs> Montreal, Gran Turismo are in town. It's been in the data mine. It's one of the, well, it's my, one of my favorite tracks in the world. It's a great track. And we're awaiting a track in Gran Turismo. It's been a long time. You know, on this channel, I cover all of the updates for you. This is now the 49th time I've covered an update. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already, by the way. And it's been so long since we had a proper track. I think they would be justified in doing it if they're going to bring something like this and i think it's tantalizing racing gt3 cars around here racing road cars around here i think it's going to be absolute chaos through the chicanes big sensors of the hairpin and it can be oh so satisfying going into the wall of champions i'm not going into the world champions just avoiding it 14 corners at circuit children i bet you don't know who has the race lap record it is Valtteri Bottas, actually. And let me take a moment just to introduce you or reintroduce you to Circuit of Villeneuve, why it's one of the best circuits in the world. You have such a fun hairpin, especially in the wet. Nice wide on the way in. There's big runoff. It gets wet there, which ironically makes it just the absolute last of the late breakers when you're there in the wet. If you've done eye racing in the wet, you understand you've got the wall of champions and the chicanes are so fun to maximize just sort of grazing the walls it's going to be great in Gran Turismo now there's more stuff coming by the way this weekend it's a big weekend in Gran Turismo they've got the predict the winners campaign I'm going to be letting you know in a separate video because you know me I like to go through that fully let you know who's hot who's not in terms of the drivers and the, uh, the teams generally for manufacturers and you'll be able to get these uh, credits big credits if you predict them you're also going to get prizes just for accessing the uh, GT World Series stream in the Gran Turismo game itself. I recommend even if you can remote, remote play in, it's just three credits. Look, I've been to the GT World Series. I went to Amsterdam. I was there for the uh, premiere of the Gran Turismo movie. I never tell anyone, anyone, but I was in the Gran Turismo movie. I was at the World Series in Amsterdam and it was great to see these drivers pushing the absolute limit. I mean, it's, it's, a, very, it's a real privilege that we actually do the same well, we used to really, didn't we? Same daily races as the esports drivers do. And then you can see just how much more speed they're carrying through. It's a bit like if we were able to drive the same tracks as Formula One drivers. And then you see at the weekend just how fast are they are going. And you actually get a bit of that in Gran Turismo. I caveat it there because the daily races are so bad at the moment. A lot of the esports drivers don't do it. They don't lose their DR either. And also the actual championships are so curtailed. They're so short for regular people like you and me, we don't actually get to do a lot of them. But there we go. Anyway, GT World Series is coming there and I've got a bit more optimism because I'm almost certain we're going to get this new track. By the way, since Gran Turismo launched a new track, we've had countless tracks from Forza and it's going to pain, if you're a real PlayStation fanboy, it's going to pain you from, to hear me say this, but Forza is on the up. The, they're, they're doing stuff in every update. They're not even announcing it. The game looks a lot better now. They've got a full endurance month this month with endurance races at Le Mans. They've actually tweaked the length of their date equivalent daily races to make sure that people can actually enter the races and enter the next one. So Forza, they're, they're really giving this a shot. Gran Turismo, I would say, is not necessarily on the up at the moment. There's been a lot of criticism about the daily races, about the championships. 
from some of Gran Turismo's biggest supporters. And we're going into the start of a world tour series that was basically really criticized by a lot of the drivers when it came out. A lot of them said they're not going to enter for various reasons, not happy about it. Here we are. It's a really cut down version compared to what we saw. You can see on the screen here at Amsterdam last year. This is one of the maybe one of the last big GT World Series events. It is sold out in Montreal. So if you have got a ticket and you are going, you are going to have an amazing time. Surely Kaz is going to be there with the big reveal. We might also see a unveiling of a new car as well. There's been a new Genesis VGT that's been announced. Maybe there's been a lack of communication there between Genesis and Gran Turismo. Maybe it should have been launched at the same time. And hopefully Gran Turismo have burnt through a lot of the silly things they've been doing, like the Skoda VGT. Does anyone remember that? What about the, oh my goodness, the Bulgari VGT that you have to buy a $5,000 watch to get the car early? The Afila Sony prototype, you know, a lot of absolute nonsense coming out of Gran Turismo. But this is a time, if they want to turn it around, we're more than two years into Gran Turismo 7. I've no idea when GTA is coming out, but it could be another, it could be another two years. This could be the halfway mark. And if they want to continue it with a nice tail, like Gran Turismo Sport had, Gran Turismo Sport was absolutely thriving. When Gran Turismo 7 arrived, it was a really strong transition from Sport onto 7. If they want that, they need to step it up. Circuit Gilles Villeneuve, if it comes, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I really think it's going to come. It's going to be such a strong addition to the roster. It's going to give us optimism that, you know, there's going to be more tracks like that coming to the game. Maybe people looking at the data mining again. The contrast of that is, if Gilles Villeneuve doesn't come, if we go to Canada for the World Series and the big reveal is some sort of VGT, maybe it is that Genesis VGT and there's no track, people are going to be angry. People have been asking for PSVR 2 updates. People have been asking for quality of life updates. People have been asking for latest GT3s. Why does Fanatec sponsor stuff like the Nürburgring 24 hours with every car has a Gran Turismo sticker when hardly any of those new cars are in the game right now? It's unclear what the focus is. Certainly, we, you know, almost certainly we're a long way from GT8, but Aesthetic also Evo is around the corner and that looks to be incredible. It might take Gran Turismo's crown and it's going to be on PC. So I'm, I'm covering a lot of stuff in this video because I just love talking to you guys and girls about Gran Turismo. It's the home of this channel. Got the amazing liveries, amazing community. I've had so much fun in my life on Gran Turismo. And I just really hope for the best for Gran Turismo. By the way, if you want to see my ranking of all Gran Turismo games, please, please, please check out this video here. You will absolutely love it. You won't regret it, I promise you. And I'll see you what happens with Circuit Gilles Villeneuve.